Hiya, you alright? Little boy's kicking off next door. <laughs> Ian Appy. <laughs> His mum's struggling, bless her. Right, so, what are we going to have for tea tonight? I bought the dog. She looked very happy for herself. Took a, took a nice photo. It took me, I took ten photos to get one nice photo of her. Honestly, hang on, let's just plug you in. She's a nightmare. So I put one nice photo on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's Pauline Date. There's a nice picture of her. She looks like she's smiling her head off. <laughs> Sat in a field. Anyway, tonight I am going to be cooking tagliatelle. Do, 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 do. So, what have I got for my tagliatelle? I have got, I'm going to put some chicken in my tagliatelle and some ham rather than bacon. So I'm going to do chicken and ham. I've got a couple of red onions. I've got some linguine. Some fry light, some grated grana padano. I think that's how you say it, probably not, but there you go. Um, which is like a parmesan, um, a fresh one. Um, I've got some mushrooms, some asparagus, some garlic, some low fat natural yogurt, and I haven't got any tarragon, um, but I've got some chilies and some oregano. Oh, I need some eggs. Come on. Since started work at five o'clock this morning, so I've been awake since four. <laughs> That's why I look like <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> right, so I want some water to put my um linguine in. So let's get that out. Then I need I'm gonna use this one, I think. pan out. Right, so I'm going to get everything ready and then I'll come back to you. On my way home from work, I went past a house and it had a box outside and it said, um, free, but don't take the box. <laughs> so I took some. Anyway. Hey, Bob. How lovely. How generous and how lovely. How nice. I'd quite like to make them a rhubarb crumble and take it back and say, here you are. But I'm not going to. <laughs> Because I'm going to make one for my dad. My dad loves rhubarb crumble. So I'm going to make me, make me, make me old pops a rhubarb crumble and take it round to him. Bless him. Mind you, I've got enough there to make him about five. <laughs> He'll be sick of the bloody stuff. So what am I doing? I just thought, I haven't fed the dog. I'll feed the dog. So, feed the dog. Here she comes. Oh, oh, here she comes. What are you doing? Oh, come on in then. Bring crackers in here. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. I've got some chicken in here, look. toy she got at the weekend. It's looking rather sorry for itself, isn't it? <laughs> it's already had a bit of a, a mishap. Oh. Oh no, he just goes to wait. That's quackers. Anyway. Right, let's wash my hands. Touching that old duck. Right. I surf fed. So. My water is boiling for my tagliatelle, which I am going to put in, in a minute. How long does tagliatelle take to cook? 9 to 11 minutes. Okay, we'll put it in in a minute. Right, I've cut up some chicken. I'm going to put my pan on. Give it a, a spray. Oh, God. 
Once these start going, they're a nightmare, aren't they? There we go. There we go. Right. So like I said, I've cut the chicken up. I've one breast of chicken um, for two of us, and I've cut it up quite small because I don't want great big huge chunks of it. So I've cut it quite small pieces. So it won't take too long to cook either. So I'll pop that in my pan. I'm going to wash this knife off. There we go. Right. Oh, let's just put our food in the fridge. Well, they have flies everywhere, don't they? God, another lady commented, if anybody watched my haul yesterday, I had a ruddy fly, cheeky, cheeky plinking stowaway in my blooming strawberries. So I phoned St Tesco's and they've given me a refund. But another lady said that she had the same thing. Her shopping came from Morrison's and she had a live fly. Wondered if it got in there at the farm. Don't know. So check your, check your strawberries. Ooh. Right, so let's get something to stir. So that's our chicken in. Give that a little bit of a cook and then I'll come back to you once that is cook down a little bit. You can't see it diddly squat, can you? It's ten. There, is that better? So I've got my tacatelli in. I have put my onions in and I'm just putting my garlic in. I've got quite a lot of garlic. We love garlic. So I've got four cloves of garlic going in. Um, if you don't like garlic, then you don't have to put it in. Or if you've got an alternative to fresh garlic, use that. Uh, tagliatelle, I use half a packet of that tagliatelle because um, some of this is going to be used for tomorrow for our lunch and what I'll do is I'll put a bit of salad with it and um, we'll have that both of us tomorrow to take to work so that's all the garlic in I cut up my um, ham there give this a bit of a stir I'm just going to turn this down for about number four. I'm just going to add a little bit of water from the tagliatelle. Give that a stir around. There we go. Tagliatelle is all going in nicely. So I'm going to time that. Stick the timer on. Oh god, something else that's on the blooming blink. Or is it me? I think it's me. I'm <laughs> doing it wrong. Oh lordy. Right, give that ten minutes. Right, so that's in there. Can you see? Give that stir around. And then I've got to add my mushrooms to that. some ham and I've cut it so it's sort of ribbons of ham so you've got long bits rather than little short bits. You can cut it how you want, that's just how I thought I'd quite like it. Right, so that's all just cooking down now. Um, it doesn't take long this recipe, it's, it's quite quick. So I'll finish cooking these mushrooms off and I'll come back to you in a minute. I'm just going to add some seasoning. So I've got my oregano. So a nice big pinch, couple of pinches of that. And I'm going to put a nice big pinch of chilies in. And then some pepper. A little bit of salt. Give that a stir around. And I'm going to add my ham. And 
and my asparagus. I think we haven't used fresh asparagus at all. Dry in it. All you do is snap them and that snaps off the woody bit. But I'm then going to snap them in half again. So snap off where the stem is and then I'm snapping in half. So it will snap where it's ready to snap. You just that's it like that. That one went a bit higher, that was obviously a bit thicker and a bit more woody. So add that all in. Popped it up on the floor. Oh. There we go. The tagliatelle's got about three minutes to go. So I should just continue cooking that through for three minutes, which will be about right for that asparagus. And then I'll come back to you. Right, so we're nearly there. So you need two eggs and you need to beat your eggs in a glass or bowl or whatever. that the linguine is ready so I'm going to take that off strain it and I just flash over some cold water on it um, it stops it stick going sticky and gloopy. And then all I'm going to do is put it back in my pan, my saucepan. I'm going to add some pepper, most generous amount of pepper. And I'm going to add my egg. And I'm going to mix that in and so put that on some heat just to cook that through you don't want that to go like scrambled egg so don't leave it for too long, you're just coating all those strands and the heat of the pasta will cook the, the egg. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to then transfer that to that. There we go. And then I'm just going to mix that all together. Now what I was going to do is if it got a bit too thick, I was just going to add a little bit of natural yoghurt. Which I think I might do. I'm going to take it off that heat. Um, just to make it a little bit more saucy. Because I don't like it dry. A bit more pepper. Can you see? And then I'm just going to mix that all together. And that will just make it a bit more creamy. A bit more carbonari. carbonara -ry. Is that a word? I don't know. Oh god, I'm making a right mess. There we go. Need a bigger pan. Right. God, dropping it everywhere. Dear 
Oh dear. Get in there. Right. So, we're ready to plate up. So. Oh, let's get a plate. Easier. Right. So let's do Jason first. Make sure he's got a bit of everything. There we go. And a little bit of carbonara, I'll say carbonara, carbonara, cheese, sprinkle a bit on top, and there we have it. Yeah, uh, chicken and ham, mushroom, carbonara. So, I'm just going to give Jace's tea, he's going to do a salad with it quickly. And then I'll come back and do the taste test. Right then. So, there's mine. I'm going to give it a go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Love asparagus. Still quite old dente. I like it like that, though. I don't like it soggy. Oh. Quite have it. Nice and crisp. Excuse me while I shove this in my mouth, won't you? Mmm. That cheese is really nice. Really nice. It's very moist. Excuse me. Um. Mmm. It's tasty. Ooh. <laughs> it is tasty. Very tasty. Nice. I love carbonara. And you wouldn't know that this was a low fat carbonara. It tastes creamy and tasty and very nice. Give it a go. See what you think. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Have a nice evening. Bye.